fishing derby. Last time I checked, you were a daughter. But I want to go too! It's a tradition, Millie. I won the derby with your grandpa when I was a kid. Now I'm gonna win it with Dad. You bet, son. Don't worry, sweetie. Old Lady Munson is gonna keep an eye on you. Mrs. Munson? Okay, have fun. Huh, that was easy. Kinda scary easy. Hmm. How'd this lure get in here? Ready, Coop? That trophy is as good as ours. Away we go. This is going to be great. Maybe we'll even catch a glimpse of Bongo Boingo. Bongo Boingo? Bootsville legend tells of a giant creature that dwells at the bottom of Owl Lake. Of course, no one's actually ever seen it. Oh, look at the size of that puddle. Wanna bet I can make it splash higher than the car? <laughs> Woohoo! Hmm, never heard the car make that sound before. Ooh, more puddles! <laughs> Oops, must have backed up a bit too far. Oh well, no harm done. <coughs> Wait, fisherman's handshake. There's a fisherman's handshake? It's easy. Squeeze my pinky, grab my thumb, look out fish, cause here we go. <gasps> Ow! I'll be back. Nice of you to show up to watch tennis and I win the derby. All the expensive gadgets in the world won't help you win, Henry. So much for father-son bonding. Yeah, they never quit. When this derby's over, the name Burtonburger will be etched on that fishing trophy again. You betcha it will, Daddy. Millie Burtonburger. Millie? Millie? Old Lady Munson! Uh, but Mrs. Munson, this is the father-son fishing derby. Are you suggesting we aren't tough enough to compete against the rest of you weaselly man boys? Didn't think so. Attention! The 54th Annual Owl Lake Father Son Fishing Derby is about to begin! Oh, come on, Millie! Time to teach these men a thing or two about fishing! You said it, Mrs. Manson! Ready, son? Ready! Let's get fishing! Yay! <laughs> you know, Millie, when I was your age, I came within a cat's whisker of catching Bongo Boingo. Bongo what so? The dreaded monster of our lake. All 300 slimy pounds of him. That's okay, Dad. You have enough while we fish. Yeah, Dad. Catch some Z's. <laughs> Don't tell Coop. Our real dad won't go near the lake. He's afraid of Bongo Boingo. But we're not. Nope. And we're gonna get footage of them. <laughs> then we'll sell it around the world and become billionaires. Uh, huh. Sorry, Dad. Secret safe with me. Got everything? Everything we need to win. Then let's go. <laughs> My state-of-the-art microwave sonar fish finder should do the trick. Microwave? Aren't you supposed to catch the fish before you cook them? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. That was a pretty good one. The secret to fishing is thinking like a fish. Let me get into character. <gasps> I'm swimming. I'm hungry. What am I hungry for? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Wiggly, 
Wibbler? Overbiter? <gasps> Dancing Flitwick? Oh, this one's cool. I'm trying! I'm trying! Oh, what's the matter, Henry? A little tied up? Uh, Dad, a little help? Oh, that's a mess. Let me give you a hand, Sport. Uh, I bet it's Bongo Boingo down there eating up our lines. Lake monsters are full of dirty tricks. <sighs> Almost got it. <sighs> huh? <gasps> no way! What's he doing here? <laughs> Whatever it is, it can't be good. These ought to stop him. <laughs> Coop, mind if I have the last soda? Sure, Dad. Here you go. Hey, Coop! What's a torpedoing? Was it something big? And slippery like, oh, I don't know. Bongo Boingo! Bongo Boingo! I was just a freckle faced kid out on the water with nothing but my wits and a boat and some fishing equipment. Oh, and lunch biscuits and marmalade. I'm getting creeped out and hungry. Bongo Boingo jumped out of the water and ate my biscuits, box and all! Cool! And then he looked at me like I was the biggest biscuit of them all! That just put me on biscuits for the rest of my life. Time to break out the heavy fishing artillery. Here, hold the wool. Aye, aye, Captain. Bongo Boingo is nothing but a myth. I'll remember you said that when he comes for your biscuits. Ah! Hey, I got one! Oh, boy. Okay. Be it one with the rod. Imagine it's part of you, like the fragile branch of a willow tree swaying gently in the breeze. Ah! How real that sucker in like there's no tomorrow! What about the fragile branch? Forget the tree! Put the muscle into it! It's a shawl and a super sturdy fishing net. of this year's father-son, uh, make that father-son, elderly woman and little girl fishing derby are Bunsen and Burtonburger! Hmm. Well, at least the Burtonburger name is back on the trophy. Cat? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so excited about Bring Your Parents to School Day, Coop. I get to be a student all over again. Just think, writing tests, playing dodgeball, and cafeteria food. Mm. I know I seem to mess up at home all the time, Dad, but I think you're gonna be really impressed with what a good student I am. Especially since there won't be anyone or anything around to wreck it. Huh? Who drank all the milk? <laughs> it's carrier time, Mr. Cat. Taking Mr. Cat for a visit to the vet, Millie? <laughs> I'm bringing Mr. Cat in for show and tell. What? That rodent reject isn't going anywhere near my school. It's my school, too. And Mr. Cat is too cunning. No way! Yes, way! Kids, kids! He's a cat, not a wishbone. <laughs> Coop, Mr. Cat will be with Millie, and I'll be with you. You won't even see each other. But, okay. This is gonna be fun. My brain is like a sponge, just waiting to soak up all this knowledge. Well, mine's like a bottomless bucket. The more I put in, the more I can hold. Ah, oh, you guys can brag about your empty heads all you want. All I know is it's math, gym, science, art class, and then... Freedom! woo Well, that cat's so ugly, it'd make an onion cry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bert! No cutting! Last one of their locker is a rotten running shoe! This should be interesting. <laughs> oh. Welcome to math class. I'm Miss Branigan. Please settle down. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. You know, I was quite the math whiz at your age. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, again. Don't make me stand you in the corner, Mr. Burtonberger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the fun one. Train A leaves Empire City for Bootsville at 70 miles per hour, 260 miles away. Train B leaves Bootsville, heading to Empire City at 60 miles per hour. When do the trains meet? Anyone? Oh! Oh! Lorne? The trains meet a second before the big explosion when they crash into each other. Whammo! <laughs> My son, the genius. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, Coop, the trains meet in two hours. Distance over rate equals time. That's right. Way to go, Coop. Uh, chip off the old block. This is my day to shine, and Cat's not gonna stop me. And now, I'd like you to meet the bestest cat in the whole world. The one, the only, Mr. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing Mr. Caddy, Millie. I still have to take Mr. Cat around the class so everyone can pet him. No! I mean, I think you should put him back in his carrier. Right now! Here are last week's test papers. Yours shows improvement, Lorne. 52! Score! Cool! 90%! Hear that, Bert? 90%! I got 91? 91 percent! Woohoo! Unison! Unison! Woo Come on, Lorne. I don't want the show-offs rubbing off on you. Can I take Mr. Cat out for recess? Oh, no, Millie. Your dangerous, uh, delightful pet must stay here. You heard teacher, Mr. Cat. She's the boss around here. Recess! <laughs> Now, you just stay quiet in there. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of new stuff this year. Wait till you see, Dad. That's the climbing wall. You can do it, Dad. And there's a trampoline. And this is the pitching machine for baseball practice. <laughs> wow. I wish they had this stuff when I was your age. Form two teams. It's time for some dodgeball. Not yet. Sorry, coach. <laughs> Prepare to go down, Burton loser. Not today, I won't. I'm on a roll. Begin dodging. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Dad. C 
see that head. Oh. Oh. Ha! Got me two nerds with one stone. Itself for a pitching machine. Seriously. How could he just go wild like that? It's a mystery. Dad, Daddy, Mr. Cat is missing. Mystery solved. Mr. Cat. Here, Mr. kitty, 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 kitty. Huh, what was that? Nothing, son. I don't know why you're so jumpy. Cat's on the loose, and I'm a sitting duck. What more do you need to know? I'm sure Mr. Cat just mm, something smells good. Is it lunch period yet? But we haven't found Mr. Cat. Well, Millie, I'll bet Mr. Cat will turn up when he gets hungry. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Cream chip beef on toast! Just the way I remember it! Yuck! It's probably from the same batch they served back then. Tastes the same! Maybe I can get the recipe. Huh, <laughs> too fancy schmancy for me. Don't worry, Coop. What can Cat do in front of the whole school? Do I really need to answer that, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, let me get that, Dad. Mine, too. <laughs> Cat! I'm not gonna let you ruin my chance to show Dad I'm a good... Hey, give that back! <laughs> Here comes the heat oh, oh, no! You're so gonna get creamed, Coop. Yeah, creamed with chips, beef, food, fries! Hey! Oh. throw food, his manners are impeccable. Fine, I started it, so I'll clean everything up. Huh. I'm impressed, Coop. You're taking responsibility for your actions. Here, let me give you a hand. Uh, thanks, Dad. You're not gonna just let Cat get away with this, are you? Nope, but the only way to stop Cat is to lure him into the open. I just have to find the right moment. Hello, parents. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson is a real thriller. <laughs> there he is. Learn behavior in animals. <laughs> Who's the lucky student who will demonstrate the mice's ability to negotiate a maze? I will. All right, Cooper. Come on up. You know, when I was Coop's age, I was a whiz-bang at science. <laughs> I'm sure you were, Mr. Burtonberger, but I think it would be better if you moved to the back so you don't distract the rest of the class. <sighs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Cooper. So what we have here is a juicy, succulent mouse. A real tasty morsel for any feline predator. <laughs> so now we... Whoops! <laughs> A plus for resourcefulness, Cooper. Accidents happen, but your controlled explosion frightened the mice right back into their cage. Yeah, uh, Coop? You won't get away this time! Cat, playtime is over. <laughs> 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 What's going on? 
finish my multimedia collage before the end of the day. Uh, very artistic, son. You found Mr. Cat! Aw, oh, he looks so pretty. Yup, and best of all, for once, Cat gets framed instead of me. I'm <laughs> proud of you, son. You handled yourself really well today. What do you say we get some ice cream, hmm? <coughs> After our detention. <laughs> No, you are the imposter. I'm the real Captain Blasteroid. Explain to us again why you asked us to film this lame fight sequence. Lame? This will be the best underground Blasteroid movie ever. Captain Blasteroid and the attack of the evil clones. Who wouldn't want to see that? Us. Hey! hey! <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? I'm taking Greenie Girl martial arts lessons. Well, you're ruining our movie. No, she isn't. That was the best part so far. Yeah, do some more, Millie. <laughs> Come on, Coop. You gonna let your little sister beat you up? sister totally kicked his butt. And I've got it all on tape. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose there's any way we can keep quiet about this? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Maybe Millie's been doing yoga. I hear that really strengthens your core. It's the best show in town. See a wimpy 10-year-old kid get flipped by his baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Is nowhere sacred? <laughs> Dad, I need to take martial arts lessons. Sure, Coop. The Bank of Burtonburger can handle that in a month or two. <gasps> Just as soon as we take care of this bill for replacement gnomes. A month? That's not soon enough. Why don't you get Millie to show you some moves? She's taking martial arts lessons. Yeah, Coop. I'll show you. No way. I'm not taking lessons from my little sister. <laughs> well, another bill for drywall. <laughs> Hey, Coop, been beat up by your little sister lately? <laughs> <laughs> what happened the other day was pure luck. <laughs> That'll never happen again. <laughs> well, maybe one more time. <laughs> Get a close up of his face, Harl! Oh, he's totally gonna hurl. <laughs> when will it end? Yes, the blue huh? <laughs> it was Jack! You would blame something weaker than your baby sister. Coop, look out! That sparrow looks like it wants your lunch money. <laughs> You're so lame. Lame-tastic. Lame-erythic. Lame-tacular. <laughs> Millie couldn't flip me by herself. Three times. She had to have had help from Cat. So an alien entity made it look like she had super strength. I knew there was a logical explanation. Hey. Didn't you always tell me that your grandfather was a kung fu master? Yes, he was the most respected master in all of Hong Kong. Dennis, you gotta teach me martial arts so I can defend myself against Cat. Me? Grandpa told me a few of his training techniques, but Dennis, the whole school thinks I got flipped by my little sister. Three times. My reputation is at stake here. You have to help me. If I do this, you must submit to my teaching, mind, body, and soul. It's a deal, Dennis. From now on, it's Master Dennis. First, you must learn how to focus your chi, the energy within. Oh. Try to snatch this marble from my hand. Oh. Now what, Master Dennis? I don't know. You weren't supposed to be able to do that until after your training. Oh well, moving on. Now. Grandfather said every great martial artist has a fighting style inspired by one of nature's fierce creatures, nut-gathering squirrel. 
slurping seagull. Uh -huh. Dog at hydrant. <laughs> Show me flapping seagull. <laughs> um, poop. <laughs> Nut gathering squirrel. Doesn't matter. We got so much footage of Coop being lame that we could start our own TV channel. Yeah, the lame network. <laughs> These will help you visualize your opponent. Now, focus your chief. <laughs> 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 Now break this board, and you will break your fear of the cat. Cat! You did it! You broke the board! Next time Cat tries to take me out, he's in for a world of ouch. I am ready for you, my furless foe. <gasps> Captain Blastroid! <laughs> Cat Jewel, I will avenge you. It's not finished yet, but we're confident it's gonna be our best work yet. It's Cat Boy! Now we can shoot our ending! <laughs> Asteroid, there is no greater insult. Dennis, I'm at the house of Swap, and I'm gonna take down Cat. But you're only supposed to use your skills for self-defense! Coop! Coop! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, flea bitten feline! I challenge you to head to bar combat! Flapping seagull! to feel the wrath of the staff. <laughs> Terror of the tuba! <laughs> Coop! Oh, Grandfather, what should I do? Show me a sign! Local businessman opens Kung Fu Movie Theater. Uh-oh! Here comes Dennis! Act natural! Hang on, Coop! I'm coming! Locked! <laughs> Dennis! Coop, my grandfather wasn't a kung fu master! He ran a movie theater! What? It wasn't training techniques he was telling me about. It was movie plots! <laughs> well, if I could break that board, I can take this cat! Oh, about that? I partially sawed through that board. I wanted to build up your confidence. <laughs> What's going on in there? I can't see. It's gonna cross the line. Fighting a little ninja dude. Cool. Ah! Let's take him down. I don't know about this coop. Oh. Focus, Archie. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> Go again, fight. <laughs> Now 
can prove I didn't get flipped by Millie. Who? What are you and Dennis doing in the House of Swap when it's closed? Dad, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, I believe it, all right. What a mess! Kids, scaring off that vertically challenged intruder was a brave thing to do. But next time, leave it to the pros. You boys have to teach me some of those crazy moves! Coop took on a tiny ninja! He's got the mojo of a dojo hero! And I train the hero! A hero is one who focuses his chi and... Ah! <laughs> Millie! That's Master Millie to you. I've completed my Greenie Girl self-defense training. Oh, man, I had the lens cap on. <laughs> Ooh, a quarter! Sport reminds me of when I was your age. They called me the Prince of Pranks. I guess that makes me the heir to the throne. enough pies for our Gnome Appreciation Society lunch. <laughs> what would you like, Growler? Coconutty cream? Berry berry or... Growler! The greedy boy! <laughs> Careful you're not going too far with the prank, son. Don't you think flushing pies down the toilet is a little weird for an April Fool's joke? Was it me, Dad? Growler, you're gonna stay out here till you turn that doggy don't into doggy do. <gasps> ah! Flying soccer pie thief! Oh. Ah! Come back here with those pies! <laughs> Toilet paper in the tree! A classic! <laughs> yeah. uh, flying saucer! Yeah. Ew! Alien slime! Quick, give me the camera! Mmm, Coco Nutty! They must be tropical aliens! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! April Fools! Gotcha! this year. Guys, wait up! There have been UFO sightings all over Bootsville. Here it comes. We got one on camera. Look! You gotta be kidding if you think I'd fall for something this lame. <laughs> if it is fake, whoever's doing it is genius. Wait, Dennis, I thought I saw something. Here, where, where, where? I don't see any UFOs. Try the other eye. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. No one is safe from the Pharaoh of Fools. Ha ha ha. Wait, what is that? Like you're gonna fool me twice with the same joke. A crop circle, and it looks just like <gasps> a cat. This is either the best prank anyone has ever played, or the human race is in deep doo doo from an alien invasion. Arvo goes to alien invasion. I mean, alien invasion. People, this is just some prankster's idea of an April Fool's Day joke. There's no scientific evidence flying saucers exist. <laughs> 
Oh, they're real. One of them stole my pies. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Kerber, we've got video. We're recording the whole invasion. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for everything you've all seen. <laughs> like too much cheese, maybe. No, Dad. The people of Bootsville need to hear the truth. We are being invaded! I know it! And my sister's pet cat is one of them! <laughs> Did you say your sister's cat? Ooh, that's silly. Mr. Cat's not an alien. <gasps> it's the mothership! <laughs> Practical jokers in my day. We'd paint their ears red and strap an angry badger to them. Ring a bell, Burtonburger? <laughs> oh, Coop, you did all this for a practical joke? I didn't do it, Dad. Cat did. Well, A for effort, Cooper. If only you applied such initiative to your science homework. But, Mr. Gerber, Dad! Quit while you're ahead, son. I warned you about taking things too far. Maybe now you'll learn your lesson. <laughs> Coop? You were behind all this? But, but, I... Aw, oh, I'm going home. Have fun with your pranking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the king of practical jokes. Ah, <sighs> uh, cheer up, sport. <laughs> oh, dear. I think aliens got into the milk. Could be a sign of the coming invasion. Uh, get it? It's an alien drink. It's all alien-y. Tough room. Cat got me all right. Mr. Cat is just a cat. <gasps> That's what you think. Ha <laughs> ha, April Fool's. Gotcha. Coop, 
I know it's April Fool's Day, but about the tap, I'd like to do the dishes Let without a bathing suit and snorkel. Dad, flying saucers! Uh-huh, nice try, son. but you're still not the master. Your dad is. And Millie. And Dennis. <laughs> and the water loose in my quarter. I am the queen of pranks. The guru of gotcha. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh -huh. I can't wait till next year. You won't stand a chance when it's two against one. Whoa! 